closing in. It's okay at the moment, but he won't make it that far. Gee, Norfolk's only 120 miles away, but it's sucked in. Auckland's more of a stretch, 210 miles, but the weather's okay there for now. He won't make it to Auckland. He's running on fumes. I never survived the weather in Norfolk in that tin can. He's sending him into the sea for sure. Oh, 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 nobody knows how much fuel he has. He's sending him into the ocean. The man has been flying for 18 hours straight. What chance do you think you have to that toy plane down in the storm? Not a strip he's never even seen before. This is where he has a chance. Not much of a chance. Rush, am I wrong? Don't know, Gordon, but it's not for us. He's so tired and scared he can't even remember his own name right now. Let alone make a decision like this. Maybe not. But it's his life. Jay, did you understand what I told you? You've got to choose. It's up to you. Auckland would be a very tough landing. Auckland's open, but you've got a greater chance of running out of gas. None of us know how much fuel you have left. What should I do? I can't tell you that, son. It's got to be up to you. We'll stay with you no matter what you decide. Seven seven one. How is your visibility? Nothing but rain. All right, seven seven one. I'll fly you on a ground control approach. Just do exactly as I say. Roger. Turn left. Heading one eight zero. Begin standard rate of descent.
half miles out. Look straight ahead. The runway will be right in front of you. Sufficient altitude. Maintain best glide speed. Don't stall. 